tough conversations in a Luzerne County school district tonight involving a budget hole and possibly teacher layoffs. School officials say it could lead to the layoffs of more than two dozen teachers in the near future. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Madonna Mantione joins us live in the Control Center to explain tonight. Madonna? Nick, the Crestwood School District is currently facing a $2.7 million deficit as it prepares the 2023 to 2024 budget. In light of the district's financial financial situation, the board of directors is weighing some tough decisions. The Crestwood School District and its board of directors are faced with challenges balancing the 2023 to 2024 budget amid a $2.7 million deficit. According to the district, substantial expenditures include rising health care costs, staff salaries, and transportation contract obligations. In my opinion, the health care is, is a big part of our problem and why we're, we're in this mess. It's, and part of it's just the state of health care, but unfortunately, that's, that's the plan we're in, that's the contract we're in, and now we're all trying to deal with it. Superintendent Natasha Malazzo says the district's projected expenditures are more than 48 million with projected revenues of nearly 46 million. Well, it's not just one component. Um, sure, we'd like more revenue coming in, but the expense side is also a huge driving factor that we're facing. People are asking, so what drove it? And a lot of people seem to want to point to one item. Well, it, it's not one item. Thursday's financial planning committee meeting included a budget presentation that shed light on the situation. Programs are going to have to be cut. Um, they're probably going to be eliminating uh, staff throughout the district, but we also don't have a solution. There's, you know, what can we do? Whole bake sales? Two possible resolutions are on the table for the board to vote on. One is to remove the elementary arts and library program for the upcoming school year. The other, furloughing a number of professional staff. We're all very um, concerned. We never want to see any employee infected. We never want to see the, the, the students get less than what they're currently getting. And we're trying to look at all possible ways to reduce our budget to minimize impact on the students. The board will meet again on February 16th to vote on the proposed resolutions. We're told any furloughs that are ultimately approved would become effective on July 1st. Nick, back to you. It's an interesting update tonight and a crucial discussion too. Madonna, thanks.